What's going on everybody? This is Kurt Rice at Kurt Rice Baseball. How's everybody doing this fine early, early Tuesday morning? It's about 12.45 a.m. here. Yes, it's rather late, but hey, uh, I'm off tomorrow, so not too worried about it. I hope everybody has been blessed through all this COVID pandemic stuff. Um, God bless America. I hope we all make it through. Um, I just, uh, it's been about a month and a half or so since I've done a video and I've had a couple requests to come in. Uh, this one in particular is a video on how I've kind of been working in, uh, doing a break in video on a 44 Pro Catcher's Mint. And um, I'm not sure exactly who uh, on my. Uh, comments requested it I'm sorry I don't remember your name but um, I'm gonna show you how I've been kind of working it in with all the pandemic I haven't had really anybody to throw with because I don't play anymore you know uh, when they don't I don't even think the league even played uh, this year that I used to play in um, so I haven't had really a chance to really um, do any throwing with my glove or anything, but I'm gonna show you how I've maintained it and kind of broken one of my gloves in. Um, so uh, I'll get started. So what I, what I would suggest having is a mint mallet right here. And this is from, I believe it's, it had it wrote engraved on here, but I put this on here for the simple fact that when you use this thing, it would slide out of your hand. Now you can use a batting glove if you wanted to, to grip it, but I, I just prefer getting you a, a back grip to put on these things because they will go flying out of your hand, you know, if, you know, if not used properly or, you know, just being careless with it. So uh, this one has the, it's, it's a cool looking, it's just like a bat. You know, it's just like a bat, kind of a cool look, you know, cool looking mint mallet. And it's got a really good size to it. I believe it's a Grand Slam gloves. I believe it, I bought this off eBay. I bought two of them. One was a shorter version, but had a more, um, more of a baseball barrel bat looking type. Uh, so I, I should have brought it with me, but I didn't. But this one is the one I've been using. I yeah, found this on eBay, I believe it's Grand Slam Gloves uh, is the name of uh, the company, I think that sells them on eBay. But get you a mint mallet, and here is how I've, here's my glove, here's how I've kind of maintained my glove. Um, now, what I would suggest, you know, this is, this is preference, okay? Um, everybody has their own way of breaking in a glove. I mean, I've seen people put them in the oven, the microwave. Um, uh, I, I've even heard of a guy uh, wrapping it, like put a wrap around it and throwing it up under his bed mattress and sleeping on it, um, stuff like that. So there's a lot, I mean, uh, I think Harold Reynolds on MLB Network, uh, I think he did it something on MLB Network, how to break in his glove, and he actually dipped his in water and and stuff like that. And I, I'm not too fond of putting them in the oven and stuff like that, and I'm gonna tell you why. The leather breaks down really easy and it makes it really soft. And w when it makes it soft, then then you lose the, you know, you lose uh, the, the leather that the, you did have on it. it it's completely you know just really soft to where the padding gets softer um stuff like that so i wouldn't recommend putting it in a microwave or uh anything of that type of nature okay so i would what i would do get me a mint mallet mint mallet and 44 pro makes their own glove rub okay i wouldn't recommend like putting any conditioner like oil on it or anything because what it's going to do is when you put glove conditioner 
you know, all over it and stuff like that to make the leather softer, which helps break it in quicker, but it, it puts more weight on your glove, stuff like that. So, um, I would just, um, they have their own glove rub. It's called 44 Pro Glove Rub. You can get it on their website and they have it specifically for their gloves. Of course, they're going to tell you that, um, you know, just buy our glove rub and stuff like that. The reason why they really want you to is because I guess their specific glove rub is dealt with the dyes as far as the colors and stuff that you put on your gloves and stuff. It won't affect the color of your glove and you know stuff like that. So that's what they told me. So here's my glove that um, it's it's get it's getting there it's pretty well getting there and stuff like that so i'm gonna i'm gonna show you what i i what i did to kind of break mine in because i can literally you know squeeze it squeeze it pretty you know pretty good now um but you know i haven't really even caught with this glove and i've just been uh working it in here at the house and stuff like that so whatever you're going to use to catch with this thing, and meaning if you're going to wear a batting glove up under it or like a team defender, the, the little glove I showed you that had the thumb guard in it, make sure that every time um, you're catching with it, uh, go ahead and use that glove because it's just, it, it, it helps, you know, it's going to help with a break-in process because if you use you know, for me, if I use my bare hand and I use a glove, um, the the batting the batting glove or the team defender glove, it's gonna make it uh, uncomfortable. Meaning, when I put when if I'm used to breaking in a glove with my bare hand like just like this, and then I go to a batting glove, it's gonna make it really tight on my fingers. Now, guess what? Now I've got to stretch it out a little bit more. So go ahead and use a batting glove or team defender glove, whatever you're going to use to break it in with uh, when you're putting it on. I didn't bring my team defender glove out or whatever. So go ahead and you, when you're doing the break in process, when you're catching with it, trying to get it broke in, uh, if you wear a batting glove or wear a team defender glove up under your catcher's mitt, go ahead and start using it right away because that'll, that'll uh, deal with the process I'm breaking it in. So, now uh, another thing I like to do is, um, what I am breaking it in is, if you're at home with a pandemic going on right now, I like to just take the ball and toss it in my glove. Like you're sitting there watching a baseball game or or uh, watching TV or something like that and you're bored and you're trying to get that glove broken in but you can't because you can't go out to the fields and you know uh, hopefully you know this will all die down the pandemic and stuff but if you're at home and stuff you're bored and you got off a weekend and you're just sitting there it's raining outside or something just take your ball and just toss it in your glove like this just boom boom Inform, you know, throw it where you think you would be normally catching it in, just like that. And that will help with the break in process. Um, another thing I like to do is um, take my glove and take the ball and put it in the pocket. And I like, I'll take it and I'll just squeeze it. Squeeze it, squeeze that glove around the ball, just like this. Just like that. See, here, I'm gonna take the ball out. Just take it and squeeze it and, and uh, you know, just, just like that. It's going to help. It's going to help with the process. Uh, it's just, it's not like having your hand in there, but if it's really stiff like this one was, I had to um, do open, close, open, close several times. So just take it and close and put your ball in there. Put your ball in that pocket right there and stuff like that and, and you know, take it and, and work it around where you would be catching the ball at. So that's another recommendation that I would recommend using. Another one is take the ball, 
take the ball, put it in your pocket where you want to be catching that ball at. Now take your mint mallet, keep it closed, take your mint mallet and kind of beat around the edges and around here and stuff. Just, uh, you know, just lightly take it and go around the edges, stuff like that. What that's going to do is it's going to um, kind of loosen it up, loosen up the leather a little bit on top of that. It's going to kind of break in that padding. The padding under there is brand new, stuff like that. So it's going to just kind of uh, loosen that padding up, uh, start uh, loosening up everything. And um, that's, that's really what the mitt mallet's for. And also you can put your glove on and, and, and work in that pocket right there. So you just pound that pocket, take it the other way, beat it like that. You know stuff like that you can take it around the edges don't don't beat it with a mallet with your hand in there because it'll hurt but um just close it up with that ball in there close it up real nice and snug squeeze it together with your hand and, and get it put it on the floor like this and just take it and kind of beat around it you ain't gotta like hammer it like that just take it and, and beat it down just a little bit like that and then take it you know, take your take your glove, open, close, keep that baseball in there, but um, just like it is there, and just take it and open and close it like this with your hands. That way, it's it's loosening up everything, uh, the laces. It'll you know uh, loosen up some of these laces, you know, around here when you do that. So that those are my recommendations on. Uh, uh, breaking in a 44 Pro, and as you can see, I haven't really, like I said, I haven't really caught with this thing at all. And just by doing uh, the stuff I did, like sitting at home and and just throwing my ball in the in the glove like this, or just um, you know, moving my glove, uh, you know, up and down, and in that, you know, whatever you want to call, it, whatever you want to call it opening and closing it, you know, and just by doing that, I'm able to, you know, at least pretty, pretty well close it. So the, I got the top of the line leather. So this was, uh, both of these gloves cost me about 400. I got a 34, uh, 34 inch. It's the signature series. It was the top of the line leather that I got for the catcher's mitt. And it's going to be a stiff glove when you get it. Cause you know, it's brand new, it's being made. Um, it's being made to your specifications, your name put on it, stuff like that. So uh, the couple ways that I recommend breaking in a 44 Pro catcher's mitt, mint mallet, take it, uh, kind of hammer the pocket out a little bit. Um, and then like I said, put your ball in the pocket where you think, where you want to be catching it, close it. And just take it and and beat it around the edges just like that you ain't gotta pound it but hit it a little harder what i'm doing but i don't want to wake uh you know my kid and all that stuff up so um you know beat it around the edges you know stuff like that and then um another way like play catch with it is you know um i would start working on it as soon as you got it because these gloves are going to be stiff. Like I said, they're brand new. Uh, as soon as you get them, they're handmade just for you. So uh, I think they're really great gloves. I, I'm, I was very impressed with them when I got them. I got one about a week later after the other one. Uh, like I said, with the pandemic, I haven't really had a chance to, um, chance to play catch with them because, you know, uh, everything's been shut down. Like... Uh, I think my twin brother even said that he tried to go to a ball field and uh, do some hitting and stuff and they kicked him off. They found that he was doing it and they kicked him off a ball field. So uh, he was not, I mean, nobody's around here in Tennessee right now. Uh, they're steadily opening things back up. So hopefully, like I said, all this pandemic will uh, go away and, um, Stuff like that but that's how I would break in a 44 Pro uh, catcher's mitt um, if anybody has any questions or comments please leave them down below 
Uh, I hope this video was helpful. This is just my opinion. Everybody has their own way of doing it. So um, that is my opinion on how to break in a 44 Pro catcher's mitt. This is Kurt Rice at Kurt Rice Baseball. Y'all have a blessed day.